The Last of Us. In a world where forests overrun the earth, you play as a man called Joel, who recently lost his daughter and now protects a new little girl named Ellie. Your mission, to ensure Ellie makes it to the research lab, because she is the hope to cure the virus. Your enemies are ravenous mutants called clickers, deformed fungal mutants that will kill everything in their sight, and are so hideous that even poison ivy would fear them. Joel must do all he can to make sure Ellie is safe. You even get to switch out as Ellie in between games. You must protect Ellie because she is the last hope for us all. Alien Isolation Taking place in space where no one can hear you scream, you play as Ellen Ripley's daughter, who's trying to locate her mother after she vanished after the events of the film Alien. However, she naturally comes across a lone alien in space that, of course, is trying to kill all humans in sight. The alien will constantly follow you until you progress the story. Truly, this is one alien you do not want to be isolated with. Resident Evil. Although it's now an action-based game, the series is still the most famous survival horror game ever made in gaming history. Fittingly, you play as a heroic character who must survive an onslaught of endless zombie enemies. Each game introduces a new character who pieces together why the mysterious Umbrella Corps created the zombie world, and it's up to you to stop them from conquering it. One of the main villains in the game is Nemesis, the most famous appearance in Resident Evil 2 is trying to stalk you, and you cannot defeat Nemesis real easily, making him one of the hardest enemies in the entire Resident Evil series, even more so than Wesker himself. You must progress in a world where all the residents are evil. Silent Hill Set in the twisted dimension that makes the Twilight Zone look like Disneyland in comparison, Silent Hill is one of the most spectacular survival horror games ever made. Your protagonist always changes in between each game, however you always have the main character per game released. Your protagonist can't see what's real and what's fake, installing fear within the minds of gamers, so you do not know whether Silent Hill is real or if it's just a figment of the imagination of the character you're playing as. The supposed boss of the game, Pyramid Head, is a horrible deformed monster man with a pyramid on his head who creates even more horrific monsters you encounter in the game, forcing you to fight him and his horrible creations as you try to progress through Silent Hill. Your goal is to find clues to regain your character's memories of their past because they cannot remember, apparently, before the Nightmare Realm takes you and silences you forever. Slender, and its twin game Slender the Arrival. Basically, the game is mostly what makes a survival horror game unique. Survival. There is no main story other than collecting eight pages of Slender and finding out exactly what he is, but it turns out this goes nowhere because you don't find out who or what Slender is. Your goal is to survive him and outrun him. Once you find eight pages in the first game, it just ends there and you will very likely die by Slender's tentacles as he keeps stalking you. Which makes the game very scary, considering that there's a no-win scenario in both games, because Slender always wins, making it the scariest survival horror and the greatest one in gaming history. See you soon.